lining up, getting ready for, you know, uh, let's see, the last day, the best day. It should be a fun one. Pre pretty matched out on all of our seats. So we should have lots of bags and whatnot. It should be a fun day. Uh, then I need to give y'all a actual tour of the upstairs airport area because I haven't, I, I don't think I've done that so far. So need to do that. Uh. All right, so just the first flight of the day. I'm just in 30, 40 minutes into my uh, work day. And these belts from upstairs at the ticket counter was messed up and broken or whatever. And uh, these bags weren't coming down. Then start coming down for real until a couple minutes ago. So I got, we got uh, about 15 minutes and we got to load up 30 bags. I'm still waiting on about eight more bags to come down. 15 minutes. So hopefully this stuff comes down here pretty soon. Let me check my oversights. My oversized uh, belt. It may be something for me. Yeah, our oversized belt. I mean, it, it sends out all this stuff for all the airlines. So American, United, all that stuff. And that's American. So. If you want to be nice or whatever, you can hand your uh, hand the bag. So whatever airline some people do it some people don't but why not be nice because they'll help you out later whenever you need it and TSA typically falls under pressure I mean just a simple fact they got sending me United bags going to LAS in Houston so it's a complete waste of your time for another airlines bag to calm down your carousel and you can look on that tag that Houston flight leaves out at like 6.30, whatever. So it's a waste of my time to have to go down there and drop that back down at United. Uh, but it was at one point, TSA was doing that every, every, every day for like multiple bags. Like myself would be coming down at Southwest, Southwest would be coming at American, United be coming at my stuff. I mean, a, com a complete mess. Well, they kind of finally got fixed up. It took them a while. But I don't see how they get confused. Bag room to ramp. I'm still waiting on six more bags to drop down. Copy. I literally got like three minutes where this flight goes out. And it looks like a few people's bags are about to be left. And they're going to Portland, Maine, so it's not that many flights going out there. So, I just gotta go out with what I got. It's one bag. Sorry, I put the plane back. So I'm gonna try and meet him. <laughs> let me see if they let me put throw this thing on. <laughs> I haven't gotten the sign yet. 
I got it. Don't do this at home, kid. Two more bags, but then I go up and check the names. Uh, it was only a bag. There was two families that had checked a few bags each. And I think if you say you're gonna check three bags on your online check-in or whatever, it says you're checking in three bags, but you really don't check in. However, mean you check in when you get to actual airport. So I think we got 100% on that load right there. So we were able to clutch that right quick. You know, do our thing. This next flight, I'm probably have about close to 80 bags, I was saying. So, we're gonna ride this one out. And the thing about the winter time, you're usually gonna have fatter, bigger bags because people have their coats and everything in it. And going to ski trips, whatever they're doing. Some people going down to Florida. Catch a little bit more sunlight. So, so right here, I got my scanner in my hand. Uh, basically, this just tells me uh, how much bags I gotta load onto my aircraft. So I just type in my flight number, type in the bin I wanna put it in, and then start scanning, you know, simple as that. So now, since this bag was late coming down, I got print up a reroute bag, a reroute tag. Here I got three pieces of cargo. I got no mail, no ballots needed. 25 bags out of 81 to go. I'm loading up in bin two, the fourth bin. We got 36 minutes. We're going to Atlanta. Uh, this is a tail number. Bag, that was missing off the flight, on the last flight. It's still gonna make it on this uh, regular time schedule. So they'll never know. Joe. Fighting outside, they're closing down the ramp. <laughs> we got 15 minutes left. I got two more bags and a couple pieces of cargo. And then that's all we gotta do. Uh, I think procedure is it has to be like 10 or 15 minutes between each lightning strike. It has to be so far out. But right now it's like lightning like right above us. So yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen. All the way from Joe Ram. So probably about 20 to 30 minute delay by now. Uh, they kept lightning on and off, on and off. So they got them pushed out right now. And then they had to get some more fuel. And now they're waiting to, I guess, start this thing up to get out of here. So they'll be late, 30 minutes later, so. This is a relatively, you know, decent sized airport or whatever. Uh, I mean, we got what, 20, maybe 25 to 30 gates. A bunch of wasted space here, a bunch of wasted spaces. The, this, the structural of how this thing is laid out, it's terrible, it's terrible. Wasted space. Um, right here is like the little eating area, 